Okay, so my brother just gave me this we this uh, leaf blower here. He found it in a dumpster at work, and it doesn't it doesn't start, doesn't work. So I'm gonna see if I can get this thing started because I'd like to use it to uh, to blow air in a forge because I would like to turn I would like to turn this old mower blade into some kind of knife. So I need to flatten this out, get it all heated up red hot and to do that I want to use a leaf blower blowing inside of a little makeshift forge I want to do so I'm going to see if I can get this thing started today see if I can actually make it work so just to show you that it doesn't start I'm going to give it a couple pulls yeah I already pulled it about 300 times earlier, so it definitely doesn't want to start. So, yeah, let's see what we can do. So the first thing I'm going to check is the spark plug, see if it has spark yet. I don't have the right size socket for this, so. Yeah, super wet, so it must be flooded or something. <clears throat> so to do this, you want to hold, put the spark plug back in the spark plug wire there. Make sure it's connected good, and touch it up against the header, something metal or something that's grounded. So. Yeah, I can I can hear it shocking. And if you touch touch the metal, the header yourself, and then with your one finger, and then the other finger close to the spark plug, you'll be able to feel it shocking your finger. And it's definitely shocking my finger, so the spark's good. So it's not the spark plug. The gap looks fine. It doesn't look filed or burned up or anything, so. I'm going to roll that one out so it's not the spark plug. I'm assuming it's something with a carburetor, but it's just an old carburetor it needs cleaned out. Alright, so Allen wrenches. see there is no air intake on this and whenever I would hold my hand on there it would run a lot better I don't know if you can see whenever I'd hold my hand over the air intake it would run a lot better and if I took it off it would bulk down and try to shut off so the Jennings not right to not have an air uh, to have a uh, no air filter on so I'm gonna 
Uh, maybe stick some paper towels over it. All right, let's see how that works. but other than that it should work all right let's see if we can do something here so you've probably seen this little setup here before in the videos this is just a, a couple fire bricks in this arrangement here and uh, we do we just throw some wood in there light it and then I have a little hole in the back here which I'm going to right there stick the end of that into and when you light that and blow air into it it'll get super duper hot and and heat up pretty much anything you want to a lot faster than it would in a regular fire so see if we can get this thing started and see if it works
Thursday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's hot. For sure. Let's see if it's hot enough to do anything. All right, so let me show you the difference here. So right here is what it used to look like. All those waves. And here's the side I just hit. I got the waves out as best as I could. Waves, no waves. So that's the main thing I wanted to do here in the forge. Uh, so what I think I'll do now is I think I'm gonna take all right. I think I think what I want to do now is take the plasma cutter or grinder or something, cut it off from here, and then I'll shape it the rest of the way for a handle. And then, then a blade. I'll do, I'll probably cut all that off. Yeah. The main thing I want to do is just want to get those, those dumb waves out. Because there's some fancy blade or something that was supposed to cut the grass better or something. So, yeah, I'll cut that out. See if I can flatten it a little better. And then kind of design a shape I want and cut it out the plasma cutter. So, yeah. I'll let this cool down and I'll cut it and, and go from there all right so this is about five minutes later and it's still nice and hot so I cool it down oh yeah do not want to touch that Now it's still gonna be super hot, so I'm still not gonna pick it up right away, but yeah. So if I go, like, all that, that. So you don't get it
So as you can see here, it has a twist in the handle. Like, yeah. Oh, that's thirsty. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Where's my hand? Oh, yes. A twist in it. Woo. Right there. So I'm gonna try to hit it out with a hammer. Maybe heat it up with a torch. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so you can see the bend is pretty much gone. I mean, I'll work on it a little bit more yet. A little bit of tweaks have to do. A lot of tweaks have to do, actually. And then I'll make it look pretty, and then I'll Heat it up, quench it, harden the blade. See if you can make a pretty little knife. All right, so I just cut this knife again uh, with a plasma cutter, but I forgot to hit record. So this is what I did. I decided before it came out, oops, straight from this here, whoop, all the way down, and this went straight and connected with that. So what I did was I cut a little that down a little bit to get a closer point, and I cut this here in. That way it looks a little more more like a knife rather than a big fat butcher knife thing so yeah I'm gonna grind this down and see how she looks
All right, so now we're gonna see if we can put a temper on it, see if we can harden the blade up a little bit, that way it doesn't get dull so quick. <clears throat> so, yeah, as you can see, I spent probably a good hour, coming close to two hours, on just straight up filing this. Um, I mean, it's not perfect. It has a lot of work that needs done on it, but my first knife like this I'm trying to make, I think it's all right. So, especially I have a long mower blade. <laughs> so I'm gonna heat it up, good and hot, and then we're gonna quench it and see if that hardened it at all. We might may or may not have to temper it back a little bit. That way it's not too hard. So Now it's like poop, but it's a. Uh, I'll shine it up again. All right, file. See if it actually got hard. So here's where it'll be soft yet. Yeah, it bites in there. Yeah. So yeah, it's just. Just skating right across. See a difference? So yes, that's nice and hard. Still gotta sharpen it just a little bit yet. But then I'm gonna drill some holes here. Can you see what I'm doing here? Yeah. So I'm gonna drill some holes there and there. That way I can fix the handle on. And then uh, give it a nice polish, nice sharpen. And yeah, then we'll have a... Okay, so... Got my bit picked out. Still a little stuff on there for nothing. Alright, now... Need to figure out where we want to go. Let me see what this side is. So... I'm just gonna guess... So we'll see, we'll put one right there, and right there. I'll try to center them as best as I can. So, one over here. Mm hmm. Okay. There we go. Tube. 
beautiful little holes. Okay, here's what I'm going to try to use for the handles. So these are just uh, a piece of cedar I had laying around from the tree I cut down not too long ago. So these oh, I'm do that. are going to go right like that. Still got to carve them, shape them a little bit better yet, but yeah, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to shape these a little better so they're more flat here and more of a just a nice handle shape and then I'm going to hold them where I want them I'm going to take a marker give it a poke a poke and then I'm going to drill those out um, probably I think yeah the same size hole and then I'm going to cut a blank of, uh, of steel and I think I'll do steel, yeah. Cut a little sliver of um, steel rod, and then I'll hammer it in, and then and then mushroom both the heads, and that'll hold that'll hold the handles in there tight, and it won't ever come out. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. First, I gotta shape these a little bit better, and then once I do that, I'll uh, see if I can find some rod to put on there. So yeah.
By the way, this uh, these little rods I'm using, it's actually, I don't have any actual metal rods I can use, so I'm using this all thread or uh, ready rod, whatever, do you, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just cutting slivers off and grinding them, grinding them down with the grinder just enough so that they fit. Uh, yeah, because I don't have any of that stuff I need on hand. So, yeah, got to use what you got. Also, I cut my finger there just by holding it like this. I just, you know, pulled it a little bit and cut me right there. So, this isn't my final, my final grind on it, but it's still, still sharp. So, yeah, I was going to sharpen it more. Maybe I don't need to, but yeah, we'll see. All right, so let's finish this up here. <clears throat> All right, my guys, so this is where I'm at with the knife. You see that? Yes. So, I mean, I just, just washed it off with water so the handle's a little wet. Uh, it's not beautiful, but this is where it's at so far. Um, yeah, I ended up breaking some handles while I was, this one's fine, but it was a little small. While I was trying to hammer these the little pins in, I ended up just splitting the wood, so I ended up having to make more. <laughs> so, yeah, I want to, the next step I want to do is find a way to, find a way to clean up the blade because it's I mean it doesn't have to be beautiful because it's from a just from a, a lawnmower blade so I want to see if I can shine it up a little bit you know make it look a little better maybe make it even sharper yet so Yeah, and it's it's sharp for sure. Oh, look at that! I don't know if you can see that. But yes, it does shave your hair. Yeah, let's see if I can show you. That. I mean, it's not razor sharp, but. It definitely shave your hair. Yeah. That's my hair. Yeah, so I think I don't know if I want to polish it up or not yet. 
because then if you polish, I mean, I could, because if I polish up the blade, then it's going to make my handle look bad. <laughs> my handle obviously doesn't look good. But if I, if the blade doesn't look pristine, nobody's ever going to question the handle. So <laughs> I kind of look, kind of like the, uh, the elder or the, the old style look where it's old and beat up. Because, and again, it is a lawnmower blade. <laughs> so yeah, it is nice and sharp. Let me find some paper. Here we go, we got some of that packaging. Packaging paper there. Whoop. Hey, that bubble wrap inside kind of screws it with it. Here, let me find some better. There we go. Here's the the uh, sandpaper I was using package. Oh yeah. Not that it doesn't take much to cut it. <laughs> 